I have always wanted to try business class, but I always knew that it was going to be so expensive. Want to kind of stay in this like abundant space with money and that money comes naturally to me money comes easily to me hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my june monthly diaries it is almost the middle of june and i'm only filming this now because i just came back from my spain trip and we were also in toronto for a little bit and now is the first day that i'm back filming and back doing some work so apologies for the delay for this video but i wanted to still film it and get it up for you guys because a lot of things happened in may and a lot of things are happening in june so i wanted to keep you guys posted and i think i'm also going to do a separate video just checking in on some of my goals and i'm also thinking about doing my net worth at 31 video update i did celebrate my birthday a couple weeks ago so i think it's time for a net worth update but yeah this video is specifically looking back on to the month of May to see how we did with our budget and setting some new budgets for the month of June. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Reza. I talk all things personal finances, entrepreneurship, and sometimes luxury goods. And if you're into that, make sure you're subscribed down below. Okay, let's talk about money. May has been a very interesting month and I wanna catch you guys up on all of that and talk about how much money I made, spent, saved, and invested this previous month. I might do this a little bit differently because I wanna get this video up for you guys as soon as possible. I don't think I'm going to do the recording on my laptop, though I do have it with me here. Talk about the totals and maybe put them up on the screen for you guys. But before I do that, I wanted to preface what happened in May. So if you are a subscriber of mine, you would know that we were in Spain for about two weeks at the end of May, and then we were in Toronto for the first week of June. It is currently June 9th that I'm filming this, so we are past all of that, and I set a $2,000 goal for Spain and the rest of it was kind of like my typical budget. I do want to preface that a lot of my flights and my hotels were already paid for as well as the trains. Those were paid for in the previous months. So you won't really see that in this budget, but you will see all of the things that I purchased in May. May was also my birthday month. So I had to get myself a little fun something to kind of commemorate that. But I think other than that, that's all I kind of wanted to preface. Okay, so let's talk about how much money I made this month. For my corporate job, I typically like to set an expectation of 2,700 bi-weekly. So this month I made $6,188.68 just from my corporate job for two paychecks. And then for YouTube, I don't typically put anything in the expected column, but I did make $134.92. This is just all of the AdSense that YouTube pays me. In terms of how much I saved this month, I did put down $200 into my emergency fund. And for my investments, I also have this with Simple, So I have put this at $300, so a total of $600 into my Simple account. So for my personal bill payments, it's the typical things. I will put a screenshot over here of what that looks like. I did take out my Audible and my Apple TV for this month. I was looking for some ways to kind of save on my fixed bills and I decided to kind of stop those two things for now not saying that i will stop them forever but i just didn't need an audible subscription this month or an audible credit and i also wanted to test and see if i would miss apple tv if i didn't have it but yeah those two things were not included in my bill payments but everything else has remained the same and then for my business fixed bills you can see it's all the typical things it is almost at three thousand dollars which is a lot a lot a lot of money for my business but i'm kind of manifesting that that will just come back to me because i keep investing in it i did remove email and social media marketing for the month of june just because i wanted to kind of see if i can kind of take on those tasks and kind of save some money because as you can see it is 1600 monthly if i outsource it but i'd want to see if it's something that i can kind of do on my own but everything else is the same so office rent google work space slack fresh books all of those things kind of have remained the same for the month of may now getting into what i spent this month so you can see i'll put a screenshot over here of everything that i spent i did pretty well on most of my categories i would say i went over the miscellaneous category and it's only because i don't really know where to put this thing that i purchased into i did buy my partner and i concert tickets for childish gambino i didn't plan for this it was something that i just saw come up on ticketmaster and i knew that i wanted to go so i ended up buying us two tickets i actually haven't even told him yet i'm gonna go surprise him with these very soon but 
that was $367.15 for two tickets. And I think they're pretty good seats as well. So I'm not mad about how much they are. I just didn't expect it. And that's why we are in the red. The next thing that I went way over is travel. So you can see that I got travel with zero as my budget and then Spain as $2,000 as my budget. And you can kind of see that for Spain, I didn't really spend a lot. I only had $416 in this and i'll kind of tell you why and then my travel is seventeen hundred dollars so the reason why i spent over seventeen hundred dollars for travel is because i actually booked or i should say i upgraded my partner and i to business class going to madrid i have always wanted to try business class but i always knew that it was going to be so expensive and i booked this klm economy going there so from toronto to madrid i paid with points and i booked through klm and then there was an option the morning of like the day of my flight to upgrade and the upgrade was around 850 dollars around that per person so almost 900 dollars. i thought that that was a really good price i mean obviously it's very expensive but for a flight that is almost going to be eight hours and it's going to be kind of an overnight flight i decided that it was worth it for us to be upgraded so i did pay for an upgrade and that is what the 1700 dollars is under my travel i know that it is very i don't know like i guess kind of impulsive because i did do it in the morning but it was honestly so worth it like looking back on it now i'm so glad that i did it because not only did we get to experience that it also kind of put us in a mindset of like if we work really hard like we could do that and it's not like i'm gonna take business class flights from here on out i just think that it is worth it especially if you're going to be on a flight for like i would say more than seven or eight hours it would be worth it but i have no regrets i know it's a lot of money but i honestly just told myself that i could make this money back and i kind of did a mantra of like money comes naturally to me or money comes easily to me and i can make this back really easily like i was just kind of saying those things to me and honestly i have no regrets so that is what i spent my money on and that is probably my biggest expense in may this kind of goes in tandem with the spain vacation so for spain vacation i kind of treated this two thousand dollars to be like everything that we did in spain whether it's an uber whether it is food or shopping that is kind of what that two thousand dollar buffer is and i honestly kind of threw out an arbitrary number of two thousand dollars i had no idea maybe i'll buy myself a birthday gift there i usually like to buy handbags if you haven't seen my latest unboxing i will link it over here that was a gift from my partner so that is not in this budget but yeah i only spent 416 dollars because my partner actually paid for most of the food that we ate in spain i also feel like in spain your money goes a long way i know the euro is really high but the food spots there were pretty good in terms of what we ate and how much we spent so i do highly recommend spain if you are looking to travel i love barcelona as well as san sebastian and the last thing that you guys are not seeing in this budget because it's technically a business expense is my new camera so i did end up buying myself a camera I kind of treated myself for my birthday so i bought myself the dji osmo pocket 3 i don't have it here today and it's not what i'm filming on i just have it at home but that has been such a handy camera when we went traveling highly recommend it and i think that was a little bit over a thousand dollars but again it's not in this budget because it is technically a business expense because i do use it for filming and for my business so that is the last thing that I spent in May. I'm feeling pretty good about May. A lot of it is honestly like more of a mindset thing. So I don't know. I want to kind of stay in this like abundant space with money and that money comes naturally to me money comes easily to me so yeah that was the month of may let's dive into june so as i mentioned it's june 9th and i've already kind of started to fill out my budget tracker for the month of june but i still want to talk to you guys about kind of what i'm expecting for this month so income wise it's 
pretty much the same. Two corporate paychecks for this month, hovering around $2,700, and also YouTube as another income stream. I'm not expecting anything from YouTube, but it typically hovers around $100 just from the past few months. For my emergency fund, I typically put down $100 bi-weekly. I will be doing that again this month. And then my Wild Simple account, nothing changes here. $300 bi-weekly, that would be a total of $600. I've been pretty good with my emergency fund and my investments, and I'm very, very proud of myself. I feel like just being so strict with myself on those two things and also that amount it's easy to be like oh i won't put down a hundred dollars for my wealth simple savings account this month like it's just so easy to do that but because things are coming out automatically it's something that like i kind of just feel like don't even think about it it just comes out and at the end of the day you kind of look at your account and be like whoa it's grown that much and it's because of just like consistently putting money in there and i don't know just doing the best that i can i'm pretty proud of myself for those two accounts for my personal bill payments as i mentioned i took out audible and i took out apple tv i'm not going to be putting them again in this month and i'm feeling really good about that so in total for my personal bill payments i'm expecting to pay two thousand six hundred and eighty five dollars and then for my business fixed bills, as I mentioned, I'm gonna to try to do my own social media and email marketing this month. I'm really actually very excited about doing this because I've done it over the last four years. I only just started outsourcing it this year because a lot of things were happening, but I'm excited to kind of bring it back in house and just start to get creative for those two channels. So that is gonna be saving me a lot for this month, which means that my fixed bills for my business is gonna go down, which is amazing. So instead of $3,000, I'm gonna be paying $1,585.91 for my business fixed bills this month. And then I'm also excited to be kind of going back to normal for my fixed bills. It was really hard to budget when you're on vacation, especially when you haven't been in that country before. So I'm excited to kind of have my normal sort of expenses this month. So my typical alcohol, coffee, dining out gifts, I did bump up a little bit. It is my mom's birthday this month. It's going to be her 60th birthday. It's also Father's Day. So two big things happening this month. I budgeted $200, though I feel like that might be more. Groceries is at $200, nothing for home. I have lunch. Personal care is at $100. And then I put $0 in shopping this month. I don't know. I did shop quite a bit in Spain, so... Hopefully we don't shop a ton this month. Transportation is 20, travel treat yourself, and books is zero. So manifesting fairly low spend month for myself this month. So my budget for this month is $720. I was chatting with Zoe Pritchard here on YouTube. If you guys know her and love her like I do, you would know that she does the cash envelopes method. Her and I were chatting and she's like, you should try the cash envelopes method. Honestly, I'm really thinking about it. I just kind of maybe want to give myself a bit of a challenge. So that might be something that I do in the future. Keep an eye out. But I feel like this month is just kind of getting back to normal. I was away for three weeks and it's my first day back. I'm just really excited to kind of get back into my routine. With that being said though, I will be going to Calgary for a week this month for my mom's birthday. I'm not anticipating spending anything too crazy while I'm there. So yeah, that is everything. Kind of a quick money diaries for you guys. I did just want to update you on everything that happened for the month of May and what's coming up this June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys. Thank you.